Hey everybody, how's it going? So, got the horn all together. Um, everything went uh, pretty smooth assembly wise. I uh, got the tanks aired up. So we're going to, uh, we're gonna try to give her a test talk here and uh, see how she sounds. Um, did my best to get all the diaphragms pretty much back exactly how they were and uh, Other than that everything went pretty Pretty smooth it just took a little extra time to make sure the diaphragms were uh, pretty good placement so I'll uh, get you guys set in your spot here and we will uh, Hear what she sounds like now after the restoration Alrighty guys, so I'll have to listen back to that and uh, because it's always kind of hard to tell exactly how these things are sounding when you're right up against them with your hearing protection on. Sounded pretty good though, I uh, didn't hear, I know these things can get pretty uh, warbly sometimes, it sounded pretty pretty mellow, uh, overall everything was Blending pretty good, had that really good classic uh, K5HL tone from what I could hear, so uh, I'll have to listen back to the clip in this video. Um, and uh, and uh, see what she sounded like, but yeah guys, that's pretty much it. Uh, if uh, she sounds good, I won't open her up again, and um, next step for the old girl will be fresh paint. Uh, we'll do a nice gloss black, keep it all original looking, and uh, I probably won't do a video on that, I'll just uh, include that, like in a video, uh, in one of my future videos just after it's been painted. Uh, you guys can see, you guys saw what it looked like uh, beforehand, um, and actually if you guys just give me a quick minute here I'm sorry I I hate putting the camera down for you guys but I want to get the horn flipped over because she actually doesn't look too terrible um, right side up but it still needs it, it could still use a refresh on that nice gloss black so just give me one minute here Get all that mess took off and get her set back here. Alright, there we go. Alright. So a little a little dark, but and uh, doesn't look too bad overall. The paint actually did clean up pretty good. It even uh survived for the better part of me wiping it down with uh, lacquer thinner and making sure it was completely clean. No uh, ex no leftover residue from the cleaning that I did, no fingerprints, no nothing. So that way when it when I do paint it, the paint sticks, has a good bond, and I don't have to worry about the uh, paint failing anywhere. Even made sure the uh, bolts uh, stayed untouched after um, after cleaning them. I kept my gloves on when I was reassembling the horn, so those should uh, the paint should adhere to all that pretty good. But yeah, there's uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Part six of the uh, path to restoration. This was a really cool project. Hopefully it sounded pretty good. I'll even go back to the uh, to the first video and kind of do a uh, a side by side comparison so that way I can hear um, hear 
the difference. It definitely sounded smoother this time than it did last time. I remember the first time I honked it, I was definitely uh, hearing some some warble. Uh, two of the bells were really fighting with each other there, so uh, it definitely sounded a lot smoother. Had just like the right amount of that little under warble that you kind of hear with these anyway. Um, but like I said, I'll listen back to this video after I post it and uh, see what she sounds like. I'm pretty excited. This, Like I said, this is a really cool project. Hopefully uh, this inspires you guys. If you have a horn that is in need of some care and you don't really have the means of replacing a bunch of parts and uh, stuff like that, hopefully this project kind of showed you some super easy, super simple, and most importantly super cheap ways to clean up a uh, pretty stock horn and keep it stock uh, while improving the sound quality of it just a little bit. So... So yeah guys, that's pretty much it for the uh, Path to Restoration series on the early K5HL. If you guys enjoyed the series videos, I know I have like my bell talks, my horn talks and stuff like that, but an actual uh, restoration series, um, let me know what you thought about it. Let me know uh, some things I could do a little bit different. Just keep in mind, I do not have a uh, computer to do editing. I don't have editing software, so uh, the, vi the videos have to kind of stay the way they are. I wish I could do more, um, actually do more off-camera work so that way I, you guys could see both of my hands working. I don't want to subject my better half to holding the phone for hours on end and, um, and try to do it like that, but we'll see in the future. Maybe I can get her to help on a few things and um, do some more actual you guys watching me Watch how I do my more simple cleaning. I know I did a video on my pretty deep clean. So, so yeah, if you liked the uh, Path to Restoration series, let me know. Let me know what you think of this horn. And uh, leave your comments on anything else that you want to talk about. So, really appreciated all the support. I've appreciated talking with you guys in the comments through this project. It's been a really cool project. And until uh, next time, everybody, take care.